Hi, good morning everyone. So today we're gonna make my version of my Quaker Oats, overnight Quaker Oats with mango and banana as well as corn. So this would be an awesome food snack and it's really healthy. So I'm gonna tell you the ingredients of this. So first, um, you need the mason jar. So I use this all the time for my overnight oats. As you can see, it's a big and sturdy one. Secondly, secondly is my Quaker oats. So I use the 100% whole grain oats, old fashioned. Um, it's an oatmeal that can help reduce cholesterol. So this is what I like because I'm doing an overnight oats. So. I like the big grains so I use one half cup of this Quaker Oats so with that Quaker Oats I just put it in the mason jar immediately and then I have two mangoes so since it's mango time so I decided to put mangoes if it's strawberry time I just put my strawberries so right now it's mango time and it's summer so I used two mangoes for it I just cut them into pieces and just place it mix it with a one half cup of oatmeal in the mason jar so thirdly so thirdly I have this sweet corn so two cups of this sweet corn as you can see it's just a small cups of the sweet corn I just drain the water and then put it immediately with my oatmeal as well as my two mangoes and then um, we always wanted potassium in our diet so I have this banana so it's a long banana so I just got yeah one of it and then it's a chiquitita it's from Mexico so I just get one of those and then slice it into pieces and then I just place it in my mason jar too so fifth I have this lactate milk 100% lactose free um, it's grade A vitamin D ultra pasteurized I like this milk because I'm kind of a lactose intolerant and it's actually very good I don't really have any problems with this milk so with this milk, I just fill the whole jar. And then of course, I got my chia seeds. I It's also gluten-free. I'm not really like a gluten-free um, person, but I'm lactose intolerant. So I still prefer all those foods like having gluten-free stuff. Um, so I use two to three cups of these chia seeds. And I just mix them up. And I have also this Miller's raw clover honey 100 pure natural unfiltered and cooked us grade a product of usa so this is the one that i use if i want it a little bit sweeter since um the milk you know it's just plain milk so it's up to you if you really like it sweet so you put a little like one teaspoon of honey you mix it with all the food all all the things the ingredients that i told you but with me, I think um, sometimes the milk is enough. So if I don't like it too sweet, I don't place the honey. But as you can see, honey is always healthy. So sometimes I just put one teaspoon of it. So after mixing all those stuff, so this is how it looks like. I cut the mangoes, the bananas are there, the chia seeds, the oatmeal, as you can see in the bottom. It's like the oatmeal is there. The chia seeds, it's kind of mixed up already. And, yep. So this is how much the milk is inside the container. So by the way, um, you might want to put the milk last. So you have to put all those dry ingredients first. And then just mix it thoroughly when the milk is poured. So with milk, like how much do I place? Just enough to reach the rim of it. And then I mix them before I place them in the fridge. So since this is ready, so I'm gonna place these overnight oats in the fridge for like 
24 hours if you can but sometimes 12 to 24 is enough when the chia seeds are already soft then that's good enough with me so since it's overnight so i just place like 12 hours but i'm gonna eat it within 12 to 24 hours because it's still good and it's in the fridge and you know the ingredients are more mixed already and it absorbs everything so um this is really a very recommended like snacks if you like healthy snacks i mean doing clean eating it doesn't really have to be like you're on a diet but it's good it has a chia seeds which is like a super food and everything is natural on this so once again um thank you for watching this video please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye